So here we are, day two of MB10 2018, Saturday the 20th of October. Just getting up to 10 past six in the morning. And there seems to be a bit of an issue with the lighting of the travel lodge sign. However, excellent night's sleep, all washed, ready to go. Um, Wi Fi, or more correctly, the back hall's a bit slow, but mm, whatever. Okay, so go around that way and let's get on with it. Let's remember to check in. Swarm. NASA, we have bacon and coffee and Android and iOS and probably music, so I'll go take that. In spoons, the king's free. King's free? King's fee. Anyway, fruit based drink. The bar does not until nine. And of course, good morning, Mr. Manning. And we're off. Uh, Ruffled feathers by the Swan Brewery from Hedefordshire. 2.8% alcohol by volume. Nice bit of carpet. Sharp. Getting malt. Nice gentle bit of finish. Ongoing bit of finish. Yeah, it's a B plus. <laughs> I saw the pint of cooking. <laughs> We're running a little bit behind schedule. There's a bit of recycling going on, I think. Oh, sun. We're off. Okay. It isn't at the moment, but it's soon will be on the ale front. About water central by design. Okay, hashtag Sour Saturday, white guava soda <laughs> from Club Water from Manchester, 6%, 6.0. Smells fruity, has that funky sourness. It's really, really good. It's got that sharpness, tingly on the tongue, fruity, not overly sour, and a tingly as a finish, if that's a term. I don't know, I'm going to say B plus plus and a bit, because that's a great start. Moving on from the sour, this is the autumn pale ale, 4%, 4%, sessionable. Gentle aroma. Mmm, fruity, mm, slightly tropical. Nice malty base, I think. Yeah, better finish. Oh, really nice. B plus plus. Okay, so this is where taking German for five years and coming out with a men classified gets you. This is Algeralva Blauhaus Google Fest beer, and it's five point five percent. Percent of the whole by volume. Oh, there's a. I don't know. So. It has that sort of clean, malty aroma. Ooh. Hugely malty, quite a little bit sweetness. Fresh. That's very nice. I'm going to give that a B plus plus as well because it's a fest beer and it works. Uh, I, 
didn't actually look at the uh, alcohol by volume because it just sounded so good. However, nine point three percent, and it's from Spain. La Pareta. I think it means pirate, and it's I Calamella. Luckily, it's only three and thirty milliliters. <coughs> Bottle condition. Ooh, caramel malt. Huge aroma. That's strong, but good. Definitely a sipper. Definitely rather good. B plus plus. Um, mustn't start the sentence with them, but like they have gone Belgian. Three Fontenay, Old Gears, Old Gears, 5.3% alcohol by volume. Diet, I believe, and a bag of crisps. Cheese and onion. Okay. Oh, it's bottle conditioned, so. Don't rise the yeast. Oh, extremely funky aroma. Oh, that's good. I'm in a B plus plus and a bit baked today. <coughs> Off. That is. If you like yours, that is really, really good. So here come some memories. I remember, I had the original of this um, in the craft beer co in Hatton Garden. I can't remember what strength it was. This is 6.7. It's a collaboration between Thornbridge from the UK and Cigar City from the USA. And I love the original. Let's have a look. There's hops and there's a lot of fruit in here. Oh, that's good. It's fruity, bitter, tropical. That's really good. B plus plus. My part is far too jelly to remember which one was the best, but I like that. Thank you.